Hey, what's up, y'all? Midnight Twinkle here, and today I am playing an old indie game called Purple. Purple. And if anybody's wondering, that's purple right there. The purple sphere with the cyan boots and glove and, and red antenna there, uh, holding the flowers. Yeah, okay. This is a super fun plat slash growing platformer similar to Super Mario World. Um, let's see, set keys. Uh, jump, Z, power switch, yes. I've played this game before, I've beat it several times, but that was about seven or eight years ago. So, it has been a while. I do remember a good deal about this game, so without further ado, let's jump in. And here's our hero, trapped in a prison cell. But don't worry, he's gonna bust out of here. Cause he's got a freaking frisbee! Anyways, um... I'm not controlling, it's a cinematic, like, the one of two different cinematics, and, uh, there's the devil himself, and he's throwing us a kill, I don't know. And I'm falling! Straight to world one! Alright, so now our epic adventure begins. We have to help Purple rid his world of the devil's grasp, I guess, I don't know. I forget what this guy's name is, he has a name, it starts with the M. Pardon, uh... I'm blowing uh, some dust out of my keyboard. Um, anyways, this is the map, and use the arrow keys, of course, to move around. World uh, 1, level 1. I got 5 lives. Let's go! Very, very pretty looking game. Okay, we got a time limit just like in Mario games. Proceed to jump. Don't touch the spikes. And like in Mario, you can jump on enemies. Well, most enemies can be jumped on. You can press X to use your frisbee. Hold it down to charge it so you can throw it further. Pretty awesome. Uh, green blocks usually have collectibles in them. Nom, 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 nom. And if you notice when I grab those, there's a percentage that appears in the bottom right corner of my screen. And uh, that's uh, basically uh, for clearing the game 100%. You have to fill that percentage up to 100 by collecting these fruit and stuff that are usually found in green blocks in other locations. Um, get rid of you. Ah, uh, door. We press down to enter. Alright, spooky cave. Anything in this corner? There's a lot of times invisible blocks in corners. Alright. Hello, Mr. Bat. I'm gonna shoot you with my frisbee. Um, this is a super fun game. It's really difficult later on. I mean, this game gets super, super hard. Especially if you're trying to get 100% collection, which I have actually never done. Um, because, it's, because if you die... Your percentage goes back to 0%, even if you hit a checkpoint. So, basically, to get 100%, you have to go into a level, collect all the stuff. You gotta know where everything is because of your time, strict time limit in the, uh, the stage. And, ah, there's a the box. Ah, I just got some hearts in it. Cool. Um, uh, checkpoint. Um, but, yeah, see, if I died and, uh, I could restart that checkpoint, unfortunately, uh... I think there's something over here I need. Oh, crud. Don't fall. Don't fall. There we go. I think you have collectibles. Yes, you do. Um, I'm not going to try to 100% this game because, you know, if you die, it goes to 0%. So you got to get everything straight from the start of the level. You got to collect all the collectibles without dying. And because you'll die if your timeline runs out, too. So really annoying to try to get 100% in this game. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do our kind of a run through. There's one other collectible in this game, and it is in the form of a, uh, of gems, and I have missed one already. I just remembered where it was. I might come back and get it. I'm pretty sure you keep your collectibles because, you know, if you just leave the gems, not the fruit. I'm talking too much. Um, let's see. Wait, I'm gonna get up here. I think there's a gem up here. <laughs> yes, there is. Give me that. Oh, diamond, not gem. Diamond. Give me that diamond. Okay, and this is invincibility, if I'm not mistaken. Yee-hoo! Let's go! Invincibility is fun in any game. Oh, collectibles. Don't break all my flooring. Uh, there we go. There we go. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Ooh, and there's a one-up item over here. Just grab that. Alright, nice. Alright, we're gonna go into the house here. <laughs> Hello there, little fella. I'm gonna call you Bluey. Or just blue. I'm purple, so yeah, you're blue, I'm purple. Alright, cool. Oh, whoops. There's a collectible up here. Give me that orange. I don't need the heart, so we're just gonna leave them. Anything in this corner? No. Okay. Uh, what about in this room? Uh, 
Nah, this has a TV set. Um, I can't do anything with TV set with my current weapon. Uh, Frisbee can't break it. You need to have, I think, either... Well, a lot of special weapons will, uh, give you, uh, the collectibles that are in a TV. You need a hammer, a ray gun. There's all kinds of little sub-weapons you can find in this game. Okay, anything up here? Don't think so. And here's the finish. Yahoo! And I got 82% of the collectibles. And yes, if you come back into the level even after beating it, yeah, you will have to collect everything from the get-go. You'll start at 0% again. You have to do it in one run. That's why 100% is really, really annoying. Okay, press R to exit from a previously past level. Thank you. Okay. We have level 2 here. Um, we missed a gem, and I'm really, real quick, uh, I'm gonna go back in here. I know where it's at. And I'm, I mean, a diamond. Diamond gem, whatever. Um, get a diamond, and, uh, I'm pretty sure you can leave and you'll keep the diamond collected. Diamonds are used to unlock stuff, uh, at the main menu. There's a section called unlockables, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, here it is, here it is. I passed, I passed it when I went to this door. There's a heart. Whee! Haha, <laughs> pit I can drop in. Anytime you see a, well, bluish, white, purplish, I don't know, block with its tongue sticking out, that means it's got a diamond in it. Break it. Alright, now, I think I can just leave. Yes, I keep it. Alright, nice. I will be trying to get all the diamonds, um, but as far as percentage, I don't know. I think you can unlock a secret bonus world if you do get 100% of everything. And I'm not trying to do that off screen. I definitely won't be recording that, though. But anyways, um, I think we have time to do another level, so uh, let's jump into level two. And this game's soundtrack is phenomenal. I love this game's music. And this game's level design is pretty creative. Everything's really pretty. It's a very colorful game. And I like colorful. Let me tell you, I love games that have bursting with color. What do you got? Bananas? Give me them bananas. Oh, I love my bananas. Okay, it's not just electricity. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, climb up this ladder. Ooh, watermelon. Let's see, it's going here. Coins, thank you very much. Give me your coins. All of them. Thank you. Um, nothing else. Okie dokie. Back out. Hello there, sir. Alright, 55%, nice. Jump. Nice, it's got a lot of Super Mario World. Oh, inspiration. Let's see. Let me jump up here. Bypass all the dangerous stuff. And whee! Back to the beginning of the level, but I need this. Hammer! I have a freaking hammer now! Yeah! Hammers are extremely powerful when it comes to attack power. They usually deal double the damage that your frisbee does, if not triple. Um, and now there's a sign that says press A to switch, which is to switch what weapon I want to use. Those guys normally take two hits from your frisbee, just one hit from your hammer. Now, uh, please note that you will lose uh, your second weapon if you get hit twice. So if you take two da get hit two, da two damage, yeah. I'm tripping over myself now. Uh, you will lose your uh, special weapon. We, we need this to get that out of the way. There we go. Shoot up there. Aw, oh, yeah. Give me them fruit. Give me that fruit. I think it's just hearts down here. Yes, it is. Hey, hit that checkpoint. Okay, um, we need to go over here. There's a red screwdriver. We're gonna need to open up a door. It's in here. Alright. Hey, Blue! What's up, Blue? What you doing, man? Mind if I borrow this? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Blue. Is there uh, anything else you got in here? Nope. Okay, see ya, Blue. Stay cool now. Whee! Alright. I think you can jump on this guy. There we go. We're gonna stay in the ground forever, but eh, get them out of the way. And here's the door where we need to use a red screwdriver. There we go. Okay. Um. Let it out. Seriously? Nah, I didn't mean to let it out there, doggone it. Ooh, collectibles. Ah! Aw, oh, man. Go 
go for it. Ow. No, 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 no. Okay, one more hit and I'm gonna lose my hammer. I don't want to lose my hammer. I like my hammer. My hammer is so nice. Okay. Haha, <laughs> missed me. <laughs> like I said, I've played this game before. I know quite a few things about it. I think that's a breakable block right here. Yes, it is. That's a homing frisbee. But I think I'm gonna keep my hammer. Finish line! Woo! 90% complete. Ah, doggone it. I missed 10% somewhere. Like I said, though, I'm not trying to get the 100% on everything. I'm just trying to find the diamonds wherever they may lurk. There wasn't any in this stage, so yeah, that's cool. Alright. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to stop here. This was super fun. Um, definitely going to try to complete this game, at least, you know, the main stuff. And I'll try to find as many diamonds as I can anyway. Well, see you in the next stage. Peace out, y'all.